In this video, I will explain you a little bit how the uh, Awingu API works. Uh, basically, everything you do in Awingu, so every modification you do or everything you do in the dashboard or every report you see can be automated through the uh, API. Um, the API is uh, fully documented on the Awingu appliance also. So let me maybe first start with showing you where you can find the documentation and then let's make two sample uh, scripts uh, uh, via the API. So the first thing you need to know is that if you log in as an administrator in Awingu, you will see that one of the default apps which is always there is the API docs. Uh, if you click on that, uh, Awingu will open the uh, API documentation and you can go into details in our API. So, for example, if you want to have a list of all the uh, applications which are uh, installed on the appliance, then you have to use the uh, apps API. And then uh, if you want a list, you need to get the API. If you want to create an extra app, you need to do a post and so on and so on. So all the documentation is uh, available on the uh, on the. Uh, built in uh, up in uh, Awingu. There are also some sample scripts uh, on the right side. So uh, by default, they are in PowerShell. But uh, for example, if you uh, would like to change them to another uh, programming language, like for example, Python, with a single click, you can make those uh, changes. Um, the API can be used uh, either by starting a session uh, via the session uh, uh, API and then uh, working via that session, you can also uh, control the API. But there is a more easy way to use our uh, Awingu API and that's via the API tokens. So if you are an admin in uh, Awingu and you go to your account settings, at the bottom of the page, there is a, an option to manage an API token. And then if you type in your um, password, it will generate a unique API token and then that token you can use in your uh, scripts for uh, automation. Um, another thing before I'm going to show you two sample scripts is uh, the API itself can be whitelisted. So uh, in the user connector, so if you go to the user connector, there is a possibility to uh, configure that the API can only be used from a specific range of uh, IP addresses. So by doing so, uh, uh, you can combine, for example, Awingu uh, with the uh, API keys from a, from a secure location uh, and then make sure that, that the API cannot be used from uh, anywhere else. Um, I have uh, prepared two sample uh, scripts. Um, so the first one is uh, a little script to uh, make a list of all the known uh, named users in Awingu when they logged in the first time, when they logged in the last time, and if they have uh, uh, the multi-factor authentication enabled, yes or no. So uh, to do that, um, I need the token. So uh, this is the token I just uh, generated uh, before in the uh, in the previous uh, step where I, where I went to the account settings. And then, as you can see, uh, it's very simple. The only thing you need to do is put that token in the uh, header of your, um, uh, of your uh, um, query that you will do to the API, so your JSON query. Uh, and then once that uh, token is in, uh, in, in your header, uh, you can work via the invoke REST method and then uh, query any of the APIs. So in this case, I'm going to query the uh, user's API and I'm just going to, to get the list of all the, all the users. And then uh, I'm just going to format them and I'm going to select the username, the date joined, the last login and the uh, OTP setup complete. So as you can see, very simple script, just a few lines. And I have a, an overview of all my uh, named users on the on the system when they logged in uh, when they logged in the last time and if uh, MFA is uh, configured. So very very simple uh, very simple script. Uh, second script I have uh, prepared and and uh, want, would like to show you as a as a as a sample script is a, a little script to create an extra user um, label. So uh, again same uh, same thing. So. Uh, I'm, I'm going to connect to uh, to this uh, Awingu tenant. Uh, this time, uh, I'm, I'm combining a few of the features of Awingu. So um, I'm connecting to the to an administrative tenant, but I'm going to make the change on one of the other tenants. So I'm not going to make the change on the Spider-Man tenant. So this is also something which is possible, connecting with the API to an administrative tenant, but then making a change for an, for an other tenant, uh, which is uh, under the, the same Awingu appliance. Uh, same thing for the uh, authentication part. So I'm just adding the, the token into the uh, header. And then uh, if I scroll a little bit down in the script, I'm just going to skip a few lines first. Um, if I would like to create an, um, 
a, a, a new um, label in, in Awingu, I need to call the, the label API and I need to do a post of a JSON uh, file. So the JSON file uh, needs to contain uh, the key and the value. So the key is, uh, in this case, username. And as value, I will uh, create a user uh, in the domain with, uh, with the user and I'm just going to read it. So this is uh, pretty uh, pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, the thing uh, which is a bit special is because I have a multi-tenant multi setup, I need to specify uh, the domain URI uh, of the domain I would like to make the change to. So this is what I'm setting here. So the domain is equals to this uh, domain URI uh, value. And this is something I will fetch uh, earlier. So this is the, the few lines that I'm going to use to fetch that uh, domain URI. So to get the domain URI, I'm doing a query to the uh, domain's API where I just filter on the domain name. So I'm just asking to the domains API, please show me the domain with name, uh, in this case, uh, Spider-Man. And then Awingo will give me the, the values. And then from those values, I will put the uh, URI value into uh, my domain URI uh, variable. So again, very, very simple script. Um, let me go to the uh, Spider-Man uh, configuration, manage uh, labels. So as you can see, I uh, already have a few uh, username labels. So um, if, for example, I would like to add a label for my uh, colleague, Karel, I just need to run the script. It's asking for which user it would like to add. Uh, I specify Karel, and then the script has uh, finished. If I do a uh, refresh in here, so if I refresh the uh, labels, you will see that the Karel label has been uh, created. So uh, this is a, a sample script uh, where uh, I'm not only querying uh, something via the Awingu API, but also making an update to the Awingu API configuration.